Welcome to Tiger King's YouTube channel. Today, I will show you two things. The importance of pipe cutting straight and how to cut the pipe with an angle grinder. What happens if the pipe cut is not straight? It will bring about a poor pipe fit up and a wrong measurement. This is what happens at the shop I work for. As you see, the pipe on the left is not beveled and the tack is bad too. Please ignore this and just look at the gap now. It starts with wide gap and it is getting narrow. At first, I thought our pipe fitter did a bad job as usual, so I checked it with a level. Unlike I expected, it was acceptable. Then I realized the pipe cut might not be straight. Now it's time to take a look at the pipe bend saw. I use a square to see if the blade is at the right angle or not. It is not. That's why the machine can't cut the pipe straight. The blade angle shows around 89 degrees. Somebody didn't put it back at 90 degrees after doing an angle cut. Don't trust the machine. You check it out yourself, then use it if you are sure. I don't have a bandsaw machine at my garage shop, so I have to cut the pipe with an angle grinder. It is one of the basic skills as a pipe welder. There are many ways of cutting pipes. Of them, I will show you using a pipe wraparound. First of all, I always check if the pipe end is straight or not. Don't trust the pipe end whether it is a new or off cut. It may not be straight. It is better to check and cut the end around half inch if it is not straight. Okay, pipe end is straight and I'm ready. I will cut a 2 inch long pipe. I marked 2 inch on the pipe using a tape measure. This tool is called pipe wraparound. Mostly, I use a bandsaw machine at the shop, but if I work in a field, I use this tool to make a straight line around the pipe. Using this is very easy. Just put each side edge on your mark and wrap it around the pipe a little bit tightly. The overlapped edges should be aligned, or you cannot make a straight line. That is important in using the wraparound. You draw a straight line along the edge. I use a thin sharpie pen. Next is important. It is kind of a basic fabrication rule. Measure one more time before cutting. Now it is ready to cut. Stop please, you are not ready. There is no safeguard on the grinder. No guard, never use the grinder. Finally, it is ready to cut. I do not cut the center of the line because the line is gone. Then, it is difficult to follow the line exactly. I cut the pipe leaving the edge of the mark as you can see. Don't forget to put on a face shield to protect your face. Don't force it too much until the zip cut goes through the pipe. I cut the quarter of the pipe and roll it, and repeat this. It makes me feel safe that way. Let's take a look at it. The surface is rough, so I will make it nice and smooth with the sanding disc. There is another reason why I left the line when I cut the pipe. After this sanding, the pipe length is almost bang on. All the work is done and it looks okay. Let's confirm if the pipe is straight or not. I put it on the bench vise and use a square. It is pretty straight. Okay. Today, I show you the importance of pipe cutting straight and how to cut it using a wrap around. 
I hope you guys enjoy it and please subscribe to my channel if it is helpful. Thanks for watching.